Hey guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, here on YouTube, and today I have started cross-listing on two, two other platforms, um, because I don't like having all my eggs in one basket. My sales tanked um, the past few weeks after that massive listing frenzy I went on, and come to find out today, um, I got an email from Poshmark saying they weren't able to complete my sales because of the new tax laws and I needed to fill out information which basically meant my social security number well you know they already had that from last year so my question is why didn't it cross over um, and how many sales did I lose in the interim because their system doesn't cross over so I was a little upset about that and I started cross listing which is one thing I really didn't want to do, but um, after two weeks of really low sales, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let them have that much power over my livelihood. <laughs> so, you know, I, I got to thinking, I don't know if you guys, I search Poshmark a lot for fake items, things I want to buy. And what gets me, gets my goat, is if I find something I really like and then I go, I look at their closet to see if there maybe I could bundle something, save a little bit on shipping, and the closet hasn't been active in over a year. Do you think maybe if they cleaned up their platform, we might be able to get some simple things um, that would make our life easier, like one, our information crossing over, uh, and one thing I hate, hate when I'm listing is when you go to the description box and it doesn't automatically capitalize the first letter or after a period. Um, that just changed in the last couple months. Um, just stupid little things like that that they could make our whole life easier. And another big thing that really bothers me is when you go to check on your redeemable balance and they will only give you the last 10, 10 transactions in the last 30 days. Well, you know, I do that in a day. So, and I've seen some money disappear. And it's a couple dollars here, maybe $12 there. But, you know, it adds up. So, I'm taking screenshots multiple times a day and writing on the pictures and keeping track of my money now. Because um, it's been disappearing a little bit at a time. And I don't know. If you, if you have a lot of sales, you guys might want to look at that. And I'm also redeeming it, cashing it in a lot more often than I used to. I used to do it maybe twice a month. And now I'm doing it two or three times a week. Because I want to make sure that I can keep track of the funds that are going in and out of my Poshmark closet. So that rant is over. But the big news is I finally made it to the Nashville Bends. I have not been there since the first week of November. Um, I am a homebody. I like to stay home. I like to order my inventory in or maybe go to a thrift store closer by. But I went Sunday and brought in 60 pounds. Now, you're not going to see all of that today because I'm trying to keep my videos to a minimum time amount. But I got some good items. And I left Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. right after I got Ollie from church. And then I went by myself. And I didn't get home until 10 p.m. that night. So we're talking 11 and a half hours on, either on the road or in the bins. And I had a blast. So I'm going to go once a month for sure, maybe twice. So I'm going to start with some of the accessories I got. This is not all the accessories I got, but I'm kind of divvying it up between the videos. Um, all right, this first item is a vintage fossil kiss lock. Great condition. These are selling for, um, these are selling for about 30 plus on Poshmark. So I thought that was a good pickup. I got it because it was cute. And then when I pulled comps, and, and I did not pull comps in the bins because 
I didn't want to waste any time doing that. I kind of went on my knowledge and a prayer for some things. Um, but I pulled some comps after I got home and was pleased with what I got. Probably a couple things I shouldn't have picked up. But... Well, I'll be. It doesn't matter what time of day I do this. <laughs> All right. So um, this is just a no boundaries. No big deal. Just a little like tie dye fanny pack, but it was new tags, retail for $12, so if somebody wants to add this to their order for $5, I mean, it it probably didn't cost me, but 50, 60 cents. My Goodwill is $1.29 a pound. We don't get a discount for anything over any pound bulk. It's just $1.29 a pound. For clothing and accessories. Now, hard goods, I don't know, it was cheap. 60, 80 cents, something like that per pound. I don't remember because I really don't do hard goods. Okay, so, and I got this little Vera Bradley zippy little wallet in excellent condition. For a quarter, I'm going to pick up Vera Bradley. I don't pick it up at the regular thrift store because... Um, they think it's worth a lot <laughs> at the thrift store. At the bins, I'm going to pick it up. All right. Here we have a Lauren Bell. New to me. Um, and it's just a woven, like, jute purse with these cute acrylic beads. And it's just it's in really good condition. Just a little handbag. You know, I, these are probably only going to go for between $15 and $20. But, you know, it was, it was cheap, so it was worth the pick up for me. And then I got this Betsy Johnson. This is the little extra large tote. Um, I don't have the one that's got the removable pouch, but... Um, these comps were coming in these comps were coming in between 30 and 45 dollars but i noticed some extra wear here on this corner it's not torn through but it's got some wear um the inside is great so i imagine i'll probably only get about 20 25 for this other than that, it's in really good good condition, except for that like one corner right there. So I didn't think that was bad either. And then I got this Brighton tote. Excellent condition. Like brand new condition. Like brand new. And these are going for anywhere from $15 to $35. So, there's that. Just a couple more accessories and then I'll do a few clothing items and then we'll be done for today's video and I'll just bring them to you as I get ready to list them so that I don't bombard you with everything. I picked this up because actually I picked it up for someone specific. It's just a tote that says, Great Teachers Inspire for a Lifetime. And that is so true because in college, well, fifth grade, I had Mrs. Gregg. She was one that really inspired me in fifth grade. But then in college, I had a couple professors that um, made a mark on me for the rest of my life. So I truly adore teachers and I don't know how they do it I could not do it especially teaching kids I could not do it but I have a lot of respect for them all right another thing <laughs> I saw this and I wanted it somebody grabbed it and then later they threw it back in the bin and I snatched it up because it was different the beer Bradley it's in really good condition but it's a kiss lock and these are going for over 30, between 30 and 50, depending on the pattern. Perfect condition. 
almost perfect, not perfect. But it's got the big kiss lock with all of this slip pockets here and the zipper pocket. And then it has an extra outside pocket here that's magnet magnetized. So very nice condition. And it goes for, um, a, this pattern goes for a good deal. And even if it didn't, as cheap as I got it, it's definitely worth it. All right, last accessory for this video. And I didn't look this up, I meant to. It's a Vineyard Vines belt, leather, and then one of their iconic patterns. Size 34. I didn't look it up, but I'm sure it will bring in. It says the buckle is solid brass. So it's very well made. And it's vintage vines. Um, I'm sure it will bring in a decent amount for considering it probably cost me 50 cents. All right, so that's all the accessories for today's video. I have more. I got Prada. I got Coach. I got, oh, what's the name of that other one? I got a really nice handbag, leather handbag, a minimalist one that will sell for over 100 maybe closer to two. So you'll see that in my next video, but I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head because it was new to me. All right, so these are shorts by reason. No idea what these will sell for. Um, they are size small. I'm guessing that they're men's just because they have the mesh inside but you know I wear men's shorts but they're a size small so I'm guessing women it could probably be a medium but I'm guessing they're men's so I don't know weighed hardly nothing and here I got a North Face um, skirt just a North Face skirt in really good condition. Size four. Um, I love these things. And I know they sell well. So I got that. And everything, I already washed everything. I wash everything when I pick them up at the thrift store that's washable. I hate the smell of Goodwill. And they just have a specific smell. And I can't stand it. And I don't like getting packages when I order from people. And I know they're getting it at Goodwill. And that's fine. Because that's what we all do. But wash it. Ew, it's just so disgusting to not take the, the time and just, it's just disgusting to not send somebody something that's clean. And hopefully smell free. Alright, this is a tangerine sport. It's a size extra large. Um... I love these things, and I wear these things in the summer, especially the skorts, the one that have the shorts and the skirt. This is size extra large, so unless I gain my weight back, this is not going to fit me anymore, but they'll sell, so I picked that up. And this I thought was cute, and I did have summer in mind when I went, but there was... I got a good mix of all seasons because, you know, there just wasn't enough for to do just summer. All right, this is called Lover, Loverich, Loverich, it's a size large, it is a, not denim, um, you know what I'm talking about, denim. It's a very soft denim. This this is a romper. Look, look at all this embroidery. That is just beautiful. And yeah. And this is a size large. So you know this may end up staying here. I will list it. But I mean it's it's chambray. That's it, chambray. It's cute. It's nice. I like it. It'd be great for the beach or just summer in general. And yes, I did get a couple kids items. Got a Columbia 12 to 18 months. Look at this fleece jacket. It's so cute. 
for a little girl. We're still in winter, so I'll be listing these, the winter items, soon. <clears throat> okay, here we have a Victoria's Secret Pink Ultimate. It's a collab with Fifth and Ocean, um, and it says Army. It is a sports bra by Pink. I saw this, I was like... Well, you know, that's how, where I started my military career was in the Army and then for four years. And then I swapped over to the Air Force for six more. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it's a collab, so I've not looked it up. It might be worth more than your average $15 to $18 pink sports bra, but we'll see. Um, and also another pair of pink sweats. Um, actually, they're leggings pink all down the side straight leg size small and these looked new but you know they smelled like goodwill there's still the tag thing there so I washed them because pink uh, and Victoria's Secret sells well for me so I just went ahead and washed them and I'll sell them as uh, pre-owned okay this is another pink it's just a with the kind of racer back back size extra large um, so that was good I found quite a few pink items um, there on Sunday okay another children's item I got a London Fog size 2t um jacket it's so cute and it had a couple stains on it but um i was able to get most everything out but it's a lightweight so it's going to transition nice into from winter to spring or from summer into fall because it's not heavy duty but um it's just a nice nice jacket for a little girl london fog Oh, this was a good find. I've been searching for a pair of these in my size, although I have no business wearing them until I get a little bit smaller. These are We The Free, size 25. They are white pull-on pants with the huge bell bottoms. And I washed these and uh, they're very clean, no stains, no rips. Well, looks like might have some, a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that. From hitting the floor at Goodwill, I'll have to probably rewash these again because that will come out. But guys, these sell for 60 to 100 bucks on Poshmark because I've been looking. I've been searching for a pair for me. Not white, of course. I don't like to wear white except for these next pants that I may end up keeping. I've not tried them on. I cannot find a brand tag. Um, but look, of course they're not tied so they look awfully big. But look at how these are. They're like pleated, high-waisted, um, drawstring, waist, just cotton lightweight pants. These will probably stay here if they fit me um, because they don't have a brand, but the style alone, these would sell um, probably for a good 20 bucks. I would think. I would pay 20 bucks for um, a pair of comfortable pants like that, especially in the summer. All right, Sandro Paris. It's just a cute blouse this is all like chain if you can see that really soft I did not wash this because um, I was afraid to and it's a size one so I'm guessing that's a small it looks small um, but it's a very pretty Sandro Paris shirt so I'm sure that's gonna bring in 
um, a good amount. Maybe the person who buys my Sandro Paris jeans will buy that shirt to go with them. Okay, Zara Basic, made in Turkey, USA size, extra small. Feels like silk, but I'm pretty sure it's probably polyester. The size tag is gone, so this is another one that I didn't wash because it feels like silk and I didn't want to risk it. There's one little snag in the back. Um, if anyone is interested in this item, there's a little snag right here. You can barely see it, and it's in the back. Um, but it's a very nice, very lightweight blouse. And I'm not going to wash this because I don't have a size tag. I'm guessing that's probably about a small. Could be medium. This is another item I didn't wash um, because I'm going to wash it by hand in cold water. It's a Steve Madden. One size fits most. It's just a sheer, like, um, I'm guessing a bathing suit cover. Beautiful. It is, let's see, hand wash, cold water separately, no bleach, no drying. And it is 100% polyester, but man, it feels nice. It feels really nice. So I'm guessing that's a bathing suit cover. Uh, and this is just a cute shirt. I liked it. Hollywood Legends. It's distributed by Hollywood Legends. Junior size small, so three to five. Um, it's just this cute, lightweight, long sleeve, Marilyn Monroe. Um, I want to say t-shirt because it feels like t-shirt material. Um, so I'm just going to say long sleeve t-shirt. But it's in really good condition. And very soft. And then we have Child of Mine by Carter's. I just picked this up because I thought it was cute. Carter's does not sell for much, but I'll bundle it with um, another, some of my kids' stuff. 24 months, feeded pajamas with giraffes and elephants and sloths and Cheetos. It was just really cute. So I'm just going to bundle this with one of my other bundles of kids clothes. This is really soft. Prophecy. Made in USA with imported fabrics. Size is... I don't know. I thought it had a size. Oh, size 10. Just a flannel with shoulder pads it's vintage um and it's got a little pleat in the back this is an end of flap this is very soft size 10. Uh, here we have a michael kors shirt extra small snake print um, just a very soft shirt, a little bit higher in the front than the back. And it does have, it's got the Michael Kors logo here. Yeah, size extra small, very nice. This washed up really nice too. I washed it regular. And here we have a Intimately Free, Free People. I forgot what size this was. Small Petite. It is a turtleneck with the keyhole back. Um, but it is a bodysuit, a thong bodysuit. And it was very clean. I would not have picked it up. It has been washed, uh, so small petite on that. I do like free people. Um, 
So I will pick that up, especially at the bins. All right. These are Ralph. Lauren Ralph Lauren, green label, size 22W. 100% uh, cotton. Just loved these pants. I wish that they were in my size. They're ankle kind of crop pants. Vertical stripe, which is excellent if you've got a little bit of weight on. One thing I did notice is that one of the buttons is missing. I didn't notice it till after the laundry right here. Um, but it has the second button there. And then it's got the drawstring for the waist. So you can adjust it however you need to. Cute, cute pants for the summertime. And honestly, that button, you can put a button on there if you want to, but it's not needed. Excellent condition those are. And then here we have a guest jeans silky skirt um, it's just a nice green silky paisley greens and blues size 28 made in the USA from imported fabric of course but this is 100% polyester I did put this in the washer and the dryer and it came out beautifully and you've got that on the back as well so size 28, perfect for summer. And we have a winter item. We have a Land's End um, thin puffer jacket. I don't know if it was down or not. I just, I liked it, so I grabbed it. Lining is nylon. Yes, wow. 90% down and 10% feathers. It is insulated, so even though it's very thin and it's got a hood, and you can do that to the hood. Well, wow, this was a nice pickup, I think. Um, there is no flaws. Nice jacket and it is down so this this was a good pickup let me see if i can find the size for you huh. i don't see a size well it's not under the label oh because the size tag is torn out <laughs> Let's just see. Let's just see. I am okay. It's a woman's large. I'll tell you that right now. Because I am down into a large now and it fits. So nice jacket. Hmm. I may keep this one if uh, nobody buys it. Yeah. So that would be a lands in. Guessing a woman size large because it fits me, but it's a beautiful jacket. 90% down, 10% feathers. And one last item for today's video, also one I may keep if it doesn't sell. Shame on me. Hmm. Michael Kors, size large. It is like a velvety hoodie with the tie front and it does have the blingy Michael Kors logo in the corner. Let me see if I can find the material. It feels like fleece. Well, it is 76% cotton and 24% polyester. Feels nice. I washed and dried this. It does have the tie for the front. 
and also has their logos on those. It's just a really cute hoodie. And it's still really cold here, so... Um, and no thaws, so that was nice. All right, so that's it for today. I have plenty more, and I will do get this listed and then bring you another video of some more. There'll probably be three for the 60 pounds, something like that. So, okay, if you like anything in this video, just email me. Um, I haven't really set specific prices yet, but subscribers definitely get a discount if we go through PayPal um, and via email. So um, let me know if you like anything. If not, they will be up in my Poshmark closet and probably the other two as well. I'm working on that. I'm doing it all manually and not using a company. So um, it's taken me a bit, but that's okay. Oh, oh, wait, I had one more. I forgot that fell. An accessory, sorry. A Tony. Genuine leather, um, croc embossed clutch. Beautiful condition. Um, these are selling for, again, around 30. So, yeah, I think I did, I did good. I spent a total of $80 the two different places. Spent $52 in fuel, used about half of that, and almost 12 hours of my time. So, Early on into this haul, I've already paid for my entire trip, so I'm pleased. I thoroughly enjoyed going, and I'm going to be going back at least probably once a month. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or shoot me an email. Sometimes I don't always get to the comments because I am running 100 miles an hour most of the time, but I do always answer my emails at night before I go to bed and first thing in the morning with my coffee. So... If you have an urgent question or you just want me to see something that you wrote that I may not have been commenting on that video, shoot me an email because that's really the best way you're going to catch me. Um, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Really out.